Right, everybody. Um, weapon collector Mikey tagged me um, in a video saying sort of what knives started you off collecting and that. I said to him, well, the problem is I don't really collect knives on their own, so that might be a bit of a boring video for most people. And um, as well, the thing is, I quite recently did a video on knives where I showed which order I got them in. So what I'm going to do instead, and I've already said to him I'll be doing this, is I'll do a video on what started me off collecting military or in general. And so, um, what I'm going to actually start off with is respirators, because they were the things I collected, or gas masks if you want to call them that. They were the things I started off collecting, um, like, a few years ago, when, you know, I had no money because I didn't have a job back then, I was still at school. I didn't have any money for collecting, so when I got them um, was, you know, when I had birthday money, holiday money, all that sort of stuff. Or money for whatever reason. And I generally spend it on respirators, and um, they didn't nice thing with respirators is they don't cost much to buy because a lot of them are surplus cold war type things so start you off so first mask I got was this finish M61 version 2 um, my mum got me this like four or five years ago it was when I was still at secondary school sort of in my last couple of years there she just saw it in an army surplus shop and got me it and I thought it was really cool you know I had no idea what the mask was at that stage didn't know it was used by the Finnish army or whatever, didn't know if it was actually a military gas mask or whatever. But yeah, I had this and that got me interested because I thought it was, you know, a really cool thing, you know, put on all that sort of stuff, thought it was really cool. So um, this is the first mask I got. Then it wasn't until about a year or two later that my interest in masks really peaked up again. I think it was because I played Paranoia, which is a Half-Life 1 mod, sort of zombies and mutants in and that. And um, loads of zombies had these sort of creepy white masks on. I thought, well, what are those? And I eventually found out they were um, Soviet GP5s, which are like the most common mask you'll find on the surplus market. But, you know, I thought they were cool masks. And I then found out these are quite cheap masks to buy. And I went to my army surplus. I must admit that I got a bit ripped off there because they were 20 quid for just these. And I paid it gladly, thinking, oh, yeah, gas mask, gas mask. And um, now, obviously, now I'm a collector, I know that for about seven quid you could get this with the satchel and everything else on eBay. But, oh well, I still like the mask. And then, um, a couple of months later, I was on holiday, um, and it was in Lowestoft. I went to the Army Navy surplus shop there, and I said to the guy, oh, you know, and I went in, because I like to browse sort of Army surplus shops, I said to the guy, do you have any gas masks? He goes, oh yeah, we've got some in. He said, they're Czechoslovakian. So I thought, oh, that's quite interesting. And what they were is um, the M10s. So um, got one of those because that was about 30 quid he was charging for the set with everything disassembled. And I thought that was a nice set. Because at this stage, because I wasn't really collecting properly, I didn't have, you know, many complete sets of the satchels and everything else. So I thought that's a good deal, 30 quid for that. And they're still quite expensive on eBay. So I wasn't ripped off really of that. It's quite nice to get them from a surplus store you talk to the guy, you know, and they know a bit about what they're selling. What well, was quite nice is I went back to that store last year, um, and when I was on holiday again, so this is a couple of years, you know, where I haven't been, and the guy recognised me, which was quite nice. Because um, he goes, oh, you're from Oxford, aren't you? Yeah, he remembered, which was nice, because, you know, that's what I like about army surplus stores. Generally, a lot of the people in them are sort of quite good at remembering stuff. Anyway, now... This is quite a significant one for me. For um, I think it was my 17th birthday. It's either 16 or 17. Bart got me this as a birthday present. Um, um, what this is, is, this is sort of you know obviously a bit more expensive than the others, and it's like a lot rarer than that. So I was really chuffed when he got me this. Obviously I had to get him a present as well. It's um, Mark V gas respirator. British Army issue World War Two. This particular one was made. I think that stamp says 41. So yeah, this was a 1941 respirator. And obviously, you can't wear this because the asbestos in it. But I thought that was, you know, a really great present because it's, you know, a lot rarer and all that. It's more, you know, historically significant if you want to say that because it's a World War Two mask. It's issued to somebody as it says in the bag. And you know, I thought that was a really good present. My granddad liked it as well because um, he was in the British Army in World War Two. So I showed him this. He goes, "Oh yeah, that's the masks we had." I obviously didn't have very fond memories of the mask because they had to do all the tear gas training and that. But that's those. And then 
since though since then I've basically collected a lot more masks. I probably have around 30 masks now, or give or take a few. If you go on my YouTube playlist or my blog, you'll be able to see all the masks I've got. And I've collected, you know, NBC suits as well, chemical hoods and things like there's the M10 hood. Here's an authentic M17 hood. So um, you know, I collected a lot of stuff like that. Then afterwards, um, while I was collecting gas masks, I also got a couple of helmets because helmets, you know, are still quite cheap for what they are. Normally, like 20, 30 quid for a helmet. So um, that's those. Now this is where the video is going to get more interesting for most people. Um, basically I wanted to get um, a decent sort of proper weapon for my 18th birthday because my parents were always quite you know strict about guns and that so um, you know I wasn't even allowed a BB gun like an airsoft type BB gun until I was like 18 or close to 18 so um, I was looking online for like um, you know what you could get in this country legally. I was really surprised when I found out you could get crossbows. So I um, looked into it a bit and I saw Mike's videos with his, what's it, Barnet Commando 2 he has? And um, thought, yeah, that looks really good, I want to get a crossbow. So uh, for my 18th birthday, that's what I asked for because I was also like air rifles, but air rifles are obviously a lot more expensive. Crossbows are quite cheap in comparison, so, well, at least these type of crossbows are that I got. So then we have this sort of um, Armex or Mankung, Firecat, whatever you want to call it, the first generation ones. Um, so got one of these because um, they're obviously quite good crossbows. I mean, they're cheap ones, but they do the job and there's not much that can go wrong with them. So my parents got me this. While I was at the at archery store, because I got these from Merlin Archery, you know, I went down there with my parents, picked the ones I wanted. And then um, I got my grandparents, you know, paid for this one, which was um, the uh, pistol crossbow, I think they call this one the Tomcat, don't they? Tomcat uh, self cocking one, because it's got the lever on the back, which is good. I ended up using the pistol crossbow a lot more for most of the time, because, you know, I found it a lot easier to cock than that. I mean, now I'm a bit stronger, I can cock that one without much problems, but back then, when I was 18, that was a lot harder. So that's anyway, that's what got me off with the proper weapons. Uh, then I started, you know, just buying like some stuff cheap when I saw them. Um, then, you know, now I've got a job obviously, I could afford these things a lot easier. So I just ended up, you know, getting things when I saw them that I wanted, which weren't too expensive. And it was about January 2012 when I got my air rifle. Because that was after you know I got a pay slip, a couple of pay slips. So I thought, yeah, I really want to get an air gun. So I got the air rifle, and then everything else after that, um, you know, it's just been whenever I've had the money and I've spotted something I want, I've bought it normally. But yeah, I hope you found that interesting. That's how I got started on sort of weapon collecting, military collecting, all that. And I can't remember if I said earlier, but probably won't tag anybody I'm afraid because the problem is I think this video is going to be a bit of a dead end because I've gone a bit too specific into respirators and that but hope you all enjoyed it and I know it's a bit different than what the original subject was but that's really all I could think of because my knife collection isn't that brilliant so thanks for watching